Here is Charlie Kirk responding to the FBI searching of Mar-a-Lago, where, um, you know, a lot Republican influencers like himself um, and other politicians are taking different tacks. For the most part, though, they've coalesced um, behind, well, who knows if the FBI is flan- planting evidence, which is the first time they've ever talked about such a concept in their lives. Uh, but Charlie Kirk decided to uh, go a different route here um, and basically is advocating for political retaliation. And I'm going to say this plainly and bluntly. Raids must be met with raids. <laughs> they raid Donald Trump's home. Well, why don't you go raid BLM for burning down a billion dollars with a property in the summer of 2020? They raid Donald Trump. Well, why don't you go raid Planned Parenthood for all of their, let's just say, very revealing crimes that was revealed five or six years ago on camera? Pause it. So there he is talking about James O'Keefe, is he not? Uh, by the way, completely disproven. Uh, the revealing crimes that were revealed. The reason Charlie was having a tough time characterizing that in a punchier way because he needed to be legally <laughs> careful. Yeah, about, because nothing was, was revealed. Bullshit. It was a smear campaign that was proven time and time again to not be true, uh, as is the case with every documentary or expose that yeah. James O'Keefe comes up with. He's a smear artist. Search uh, James O'Keefe, uh, Timba on toast, T-I-M-B-A-H uh, yes. on toast. He's a smear artist and uh, the exact uh, value that he provides for conservatives like Charlie Kirk is the fact that people won't understand that it's a smear when it's revealed to be as such months later. So uh, his his smear campaigns pay dividends because they're still presented as evidence even if they can't actually talk about them they just hint at it but keep going they raid donald trump why does george soros get away with everything he's doing funding attorney general's offices they might say well charlie we must follow the rule of law i totally agree okay i'm sorry pause it again uh so uh, charlie kirk wants to raid every billionaire that funds political campaigns let's go then charlie all right we you want to overturn citizens united you want to overturn uh buckley v vallejo down let's do it we're gonna go raid uh george soros fine we're also gonna go raid peter peter teal's uh and homes. the mercer family we're gonna go raid the mercers how about <laughs> charles Cokes. Cokes? yeah the and Cokes. then let's redistribute all their wealth and put it into a fund that can be used for candidates that uh yeah. is paid for 100 percent by taxpayer money and they don't have to be uh, beholden to the whims of billionaires. Let's go. There's a bit of a split going on because Crowder wants to defund the all the intelligence services, which is a very bold strategy. And you know, I got speed on his wish there. Charlie Kirk wants to, I guess, have them just do the other stuff too, so they can both find FBI. You can raid Trump, but you also have to give us some raids too. Um, Many more raids too. Yeah. Of uh, raiding Black Lives Matter. Not sure how you do that. Um, it's like raiding Antifa. It's funny they simultaneously like talk about Black Lives Matter just being a uh, grift, which I do think like the corporate BLM, like there's lots yeah, they of critiques do have a to be made about them. That's like, like super yeah. problematic. Then plenty, plenty, plenty of people on the left have called that out. Um, and uh, I'd say foremost on the left have called that out. And uh, also there's the idea that they are uh, responsible for everything that happened in the wake. You know what happens? Uh, you know who I think is responsible for a, a loss of community trust when uh, cops murder somebody is those cops. All right, keep going. Must be warranted, but you must have the courage to do this. I am no longer going to tolerate Republican attorney generals sitting on their hands while the Democrats commit these crimes. Forget the FBI, okay? The Federal Bureau of Investigation, we got to hold them accountable, dismantle, defund the FBI, put them all in prison. We have 27 Republican attorney generals right now that need to be authorizing raids against all the RICO operations of the criminals in the Democrat Party. Who? Start with BLM. We know they've laundered money. We can see it on their 990 forms. They've paid themselves and their family members very well. How about Mark Elias's role in the illegal funding of the 2020 election? Get a little creative, Republican attorney generals. They just raided Donald Trump's home. You want action, everybody in the audience? You got 27 Republican attorney generals that are sitting idly by. All right. Well, um, I think Charlie's perspective is actually a lot more um, of what 
mainstream Republicans actually want. Like, they'll cry about defend, def defunding the FBI and the intelligence agencies now, which we can joke about saying, like, hey, bipartisanship, I'm totally down for that with the left, but they're not actually going to do anything about that. They want to use the power of law enforcement for their own ends, not as an institution, not as something to be restructured. They want it to go after their political enemies. And hey, the, Charlie Kirk is in lockstep with, I think, a lot of authoritarian Republicans on that. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the uh, Mark Elias uh, thing was. Uh, I'm just reading from the Wall Street Journal. Morverse Harper is a product of a nationwide campaign led by Mr. Elias to mow down uh, state election laws to make it easier to vote but hard to cheat. That seems fine. That's the Wall Street Journal saying that. Uh, the effort is a large part of the reason the Supreme Court felt the need to weigh in. I mean, I... I don't know what they're talking about sometimes when they cite certain things. Um, but, uh, I mean, what, what do you say about Mark Elias? Like he's, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in one ear or the other. Who cares? Yeah. All right. With that said, we are going to read some IMs and then we're going to get out of here. Bye bye phones. Ronald Reagan. It's been memory hold a bit, but in summer of 2020 customs and border Con patrol was arresting protesters in unmarked minivans without any probable cause. Yes. Bingo Dango. To be clear, Kirk is not talking to law enforcement. He is calling for his followers to commit extrajudicial violence against their political enemies. Good point. He's one step away of saying, okay, step away from saying, okay, now you can use the guns. Affluence and wretchedness. My husband is an attorney, and a few months ago he helped a school district fend off a fanatical local father who wanted Gender Queer, the graphic novel from fun, graphic novel Fun Home, and several old other lgbtq plus books banned from the district's libraries i checked my copy of fun home to see the pornographic content the father objected to this man was mad about two fairly subtle references to cunnilingus the jokes they write themselves yeah i mean that's the thing is like and tulsi gabra's been on this that absolutely zero sex ed uh in school at all so <laughs> like 17 year olds you're on your luck uh, you, uh, you're on your own on that and that's not the like any sort of child psychologist will tell you that it's important to uh, introduce these concepts to kids certain family environments particularly fundamentalist religious aren't susceptible aren't conducive to actually like having those conversations with kids and public education is a good uh, avenue for that and uh, and we should start investing in it as if it is that important because it is Prairie Fire Kowalski, I remember my Lutheran, when my Lutheran parochial school wouldn't let us read Harry Potter because magic was a sin. Right. And that, folks, is why I'm not transphobic. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my, uh, my like, best childhood friend from growing up, my neighbor, was um, their family was very Catholic. And yep. my mom and I snuck her, maybe when we were, like, in second or third grade, to uh, one of the Harry Potter movies, which I thought was a little... Uh, you know, my mom kind of went on the boundary there, but yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah, for I, knew, us. I knew I knew of I knew a family back back home that um, when I was younger, I asked like the, one of the sons like if they wanted to go trick or treating with me, and they were like, "We don't do that." Like, mm. it's it's like Halloween is like a satanic holiday. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We don't, yeah. Do that. we don't we don't celebrate that. See, I had the Catholic upbringing where we were going to church every Sunday, but none of that stuff mattered. I did have cousins who couldn't read Harry Potter, uh, which was very bizarre to me <laughs> like did you have a picture of the pope in uh in your living room no no we weren't uh it, it was weird like my parents really like church and they go there all the time but um you know we come back home it's time for watch football and you know right. get on with stuff i saw like some stupid write-up in the new york times about how there's this counterculture in lower manhattan who's about catholic the crib the i mean the catholic because it. like i don't know that like you can't it's like all the sort of soft fascist uh, yeah. rich kids that were in that crumpler or what's the guy's yeah, name? Yeah, so it's the same people. Yeah, it's the same it folks. It seems like the same people. Very strange, like to like crumps. I don't know, like Catholicism. That sort of mystery of ooh, what's behind the doors that only the priests can go through. We're in this massive cathedral, like. That's appealing when you're like a child and then you realize that it's appealing for a Lady Gaga music video, which yeah. I'm pretty sure was the Alejandro concept. But like it's for, you know, sexual titillation for like a music video, not for a <laughs> not for a life choice. There was a sub stack. I, I wish I could find it. But um, somebody who, who did like convert to Catholicism later in life, which again, like as somebody who was born Catholic, just 